Well, before talking about the game, I just want to uh, really thank Syracuse, Jim. You know, Jim and I are as close as you can be. You know, our families and we love one another. We feel like we're right there. And for the honor that they bestowed on me today was amazing. Just absolutely amazing. And um, um, again, I got to get right to the game, but so I don't, didn't have a, unless they did that to really distract me, I don't think they did. Uh, I got to take a little bit of time to really understand just how deep of an award that that is. And uh, Jim had mentioned while we were next to each other that Syracuse has a big commitment to the military. And apparently there's a, a building that's been built or being built. Uh, and he was trying, I, I, I need to know more about that. But uh, wow. So thank you, thank you. Uh, uh, very, very much appreciated. Uh, uh, our team played well, you know, uh, coming off the Virginia game and going on the road again. Uh, I thought our our offense was like amazing for those first 17 minutes of the first half. And uh, and then, you know, Buddy and those kids put on a 9 nothing run. They scored the last 11 points of the first half. And then anything can happen then, you know. And I thought we got control a little bit. And again, we we played what we played very well in the second half. We played great for 17 minutes, and uh, you know, uh, Paulo that was one of his best games. But really, in the middle of the zone, he had nine assists and one turnover, and and Mark was fantastic. You know, his ability to catch and finish, and and also get eight rebounds, eight offensive rebounds, 12 total, uh, was huge. Um, uh, so anyway, we're I'm obviously very pleased about it and you know, go back home and then head to Pittsburgh. So these three three straight road games are difficult. Not nearly as difficult as Syracuse's schedule has been. What, they must have like four games in eight days and then they got to play again on Monday. You know, I don't know how the heck that happens. You know, uh, that's, 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 pretty, that's pretty tough. <laughs> Uh, to be able to do that. So, uh, any questions that you all might have? Coach, you've been taking so many trips to Syracuse throughout your career. Um, a lot of wins in this building. Uh, what are you going to remember most about the city of Syracuse and the Carrier Dome in particular? Well, I, I just think it's Jim's palace. You know, like, uh, I love his intro. Uh, you know, especially if there's, thir I, don't, I don't know how many people, there were over 30,000 people. Here, and that was pretty cool. Uh, he came out and, and uh, I just smiled. I said, you know, it's so good. You know, just so good. And uh, I just, I, I really think about Jim and, and his program and the excellence that they've had for the almost five decades he's been here. I mean, he said, He's been a national champion. He's knocked on the door a couple more times, but you know, he's really produced. A, this is one of the, those iconic programs, Syracuse, and I think ours is too. And so when you bring both of them together in this setting, it's it, it's spectacular for college basketball. And uh, so, but. Uh, it's it's on Jim, you know, what he's built here. Coach, first off, congratulations on a remarkable career. Has Coach Bayhai mentioned anything to you about his potential retirement? No, no, he's... He's got the back next year. Figure that out. <laughs> he, he's, you know, no, he hasn't. Okay. And, you know, he, uh, he should coach as long as he wants and as long as Julie lets him. Because uh, I'm sure that has that will have something to to do with it. Uh, no, he, no, we never talk about that. And just yeah. to follow up, when you look at the matchups that you've had with Syracuse over the years, is there one matchup 
that stands out the most? Obviously, this year has been two blowouts, but is there one that you always look back on fondly? No, I just think the series is, you know, we're, you know, we've won some, they've won some, but they, you know, they they won a couple here on big time shots at at the end, and uh, they've just been really good games. This one could have been, but our kids took control over it. But uh, this, you know, for the most part, they've been outstanding games, and uh, I still think they're a dangerous out. You know, once they get refreshed, you know, going in in the tournament, uh, in the ACC tournament. Yeah, before the game, I really, I, I'm sure he, I know he does the same thing. You, you're not looking. I wonder what Jim's doing now, or wonder what Mike's doing, and boy, his, you know, he's standing up too much, or he don't do anything like that. I, I, uh, I loved the entrance, and was just so happy. It's kind of like, whoa, it's pretty good. It, that's that's pretty good, and and especially because they're having, they're not. 22 and six, you know they're they're fighting for every game and whatever. But to see this kind of support, somebody said that I don't. How many students go to school here? You know, 16,000 undergrad. 16, 16, undergrad. Okay, they said something like 8,000 students were here. Holy mackerel! <laughs> you know, crazy. You know, how good is that? You know, it's so so good. The ACC is so very lucky to have Syracuse as a member. You know, that was a, a big day for the ACC uh, uh, when Syracuse joined the AC, uh, joined our conference. Huge, huge. Carlo had not had a scoring year like this in a while. He, you know, Notre Dame's last time he had 20. Um, he told us he'd be kind of putting pressure on himself, not having his fun playing. How did you see him working through that, and what made the difference for him today? Yeah, it, well, working through it is the main thing. You know, uh, we've talked. Uh, he and uh, John have worked a lot. And and then uh, the the workouts have been uh, at a at a greater speed to try to get him to play at a at a greater speed. I think he's you know he he's been trying to analyze too much, you know, and instead of getting it and go, you know, like to analyze it before you get the ball and be more instinctive. And uh, so he's quicker a lot quicker today, and uh, uh, and. He was the guy in the middle of the zone that, you know, that, that hurts their, any zone when you have a guy like that doing that. Nine assists, one turnover, and then he hit four threes. So a really, really outstanding performance. You said uh, earlier this week that, um, you know, your team has really turned the corner uh, practicing and, and preparing for, for games right. at a championship level. Is that kind of what we saw play out in the first 17 minutes? Yeah, we've been pretty – We've been a much more mature team, an older team. Uh, you know, you, when you only have a year with the team, they, it's a matter of how old you can get them. And with that stoppage we had for about 10 days where we had nothing in early, that really hurt us. And we, we're beyond that now. And we keep, we, we played like an older team today. And same thing against Virginia. And, uh, and we prepared that way. And we'll have a challenge now going back tomorrow and getting prepared for Pitt on Tuesday because we have to travel again on Monday. And if we can do that, that will really you know, develop the character of our team to a deeper level. Steve, yeah, Steve just mentioned uh, Paolo talked about how he was trying to have more fun out there. One sequence that stood out with Mark was he hitting and one sort of silence of trial when they were getting back into it and he was just smiling. I'm just wondering if you can just talk about how sort of trying to play more fun out, trying to have more fun out there is going to focus the team. Well, you're going to have more fun if you're playing better. If you're not playing as well as you think you're going to be. Look, he's a great teammate and wants us to win and is happy about that. <laughs> But he, he wasn't happy about the level of performance. Big difference. And <clears throat> you shouldn't be. Because if you're not happy about it, you'll change. He wasn't, uh, he, he wasn't feeling that way and then jealous or, 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 you know, he's all in. Paolo's all in. 
And it's just a matter, I think, he, you know, uh, these guys at times put a lot of pressure on themselves. And uh, uh, you, you, can, they can get, you can get into your own head and still have a great attitude and, and whatever. But to me, his head was in the game. And when his head's in the game, then he's going to be quicker. And then he's going to have a game like this. And that's what happened. But John has really worked hard with him. He, look, Paolo's really coachable. I mean, all these kids are. They, they, you know, they're good kids, and Paolo's one of them. Okay? Thank you.